Any sign of Lizzie and James? Thank you. Harley are asking themselves where kids would go to play Hansel and Gretel and Philip and Beth are borderline hysterical. Well, they haven't been gone that long. Maybe they just wandered off the path a little bit. Buzz, where are you going? I came to check on my grandson. He's fine. Sleeping like an angel. I'm gonna hold him. Be grateful he's here in my arms again. You know, guys, we're going to cover more ground if we split into Paris here, okay? All right, that's a good idea. Why don't you and Harley go that way and Beth you know, and I... you and I can go if you want to, the girls can go with It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't care. Whatever. I don't want to stay around arguing. probably freezing. Let's fine. just go. I'm going this way, Beth. Why don't you okay, come Okay, that sounds like a It's going to be okay. I mean, it's going to be fine. I don't doubt it. Jane! Let's see you. Jane! Jane! Let's go this way. James? Lizzie? God, I feel like we've been searching for miles. Where are they? I don't know. You know? As much as I love being dead, I'm beginning to see the other side of parenthood, you know, the, the worry and the fear that something could happen, something completely and totally out of your control. I mean, this is the way it's going to be for the rest of my life? I'm afraid so. Oh, great. No, no relief at all. Rick, I'll tell you, you love these kids, but along with that love comes this terror when you realize how completely vulnerable they are. It's great. It's just great. Hey, you asked for yes, this. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Lizzie's a big girl. She's a very self-reliant kid. Yeah, maybe so, but I mean, I, I can't, I can't imagine what Philip and Beth are going through. I mean, what we're all going through. I just, I just wish I could make the pain go away for all of us. Jay? Lizzie! Lizzie! Lizzie, honey, can you hear me? Okay. Where the hell are they? Hey, we're going to find them. We are. Because, uh, you know, I, uh, deep down inside, I know that they're all right. And if they were gone, I'd know that, too. Well, I'm glad you feel confident. I guess I just have uh, faith. After everything we've been through in the last few years? <laughs> well, yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, after everything that's happened, and, and then we finally decide to go away as a family, I just can't believe that God or, or fate or whatever is ruling this universe would, would be so cruel as to take that away. I just, um, uh, I, I just don't believe it, you know. Lizzie! James? Lizzie! Okay, we need to find James and Lizzie. I think we'd better serve, but we just split up here, okay? What? I, I, I know this isn't the right time, but I just thought of something, and let me just say it really fast, okay? What you said before about feeling totally out of control, love making you feel that way, maybe that applies to us. Meaning, I mean, our friendship. Meaning, I... What? Meaning that maybe we're going about this relationship thing the wrong way. Now you tell me. No, listen, maybe... You know, we think... We think that we have to make love to make this relationship into something. We're pushing it. You know what I mean? We're pushing it. Maybe we should just get rid of all these ideas about what we should and shouldn't do. Right, right. There you go. I mean, is, is this your way of saying that uh, we're not sharing the same bedroom? <laughs> <No>. Listen, <laughs> listen. Life happens, right? You right. can't make it happen. It just happens. And, and we get along and we, and we like each other and we're friends and, hey, maybe we are supposed to be together. But maybe, maybe we're not. But we'll find that out. We should just... We should just let nature take its course. What? What? What's that for? I couldn't ask for a better friend. No, you really could. Don't argue with me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's just find James and Lizzie. Yeah. All right, now, listen, take it easy. If you have any trouble, just, just yell. I will. Okay? Okay. All right. 